Hey everyone, welcome back to Matt's Plants. It's been a little while, had some stuff going on. Um, also not a great deal of stuff in bloom. So first of all, the Sunset Jaguar, still going. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. I love this plant. I first saw one of these at a show back when I, uh, I used to go to shows and uh, knew I had to have one and for some reason, or hopefully my loving care and attention and everything else I've done to it, doing really, really well and continuing to bloom. Um, is there another bud there? Yeah, doing really, really well. I've potted a few bits and pieces on in um, my Highland tank as well. So I'm just checking everything out sort of as I'm talking. But yeah, look at that, still going. So we've also got, if I go over the lights, I've got this, which for reasons only known to itself is growing upside down. Uh, Parlatoriania, yeah. I don't know that this does this justice. The colors on this are incredible. Like this, it's orange, but with these pink glands, just absolutely spectacular it's really picky i find um and this one i think is starting to go over a little bit it's starting to wrinkle at least on the edge there but it doesn't like any interruption the buds blast quite frequently i do have another bud but again i question whether that one's going to make it to be honest it's a really fussy plant but it's done quite well the noid still one of my favorites still love it but again and no problem at all. The infractor, um, not the best I've ever had this. I think the cold winter messed it up. Another one coming out. Um, and it suffered from a repot as well. So it's kind of coming back to, to its former glory. So it's usually summer flowering. But we've had such a rubbish summer that I think hasn't quite known what to do. Look at those sunset jaguars. Um, the other thing I've got is down here. This is this is begins with a P. Paviania, I think. Um, there is one out there. You go. It's quite a sweet, interesting little uh, little species, and it's doing better than yeah. Got a lot of buds on it. Doing quite well doing quite well uh, as I said a little bit earlier I, I repotted some stuff I had a, a few spare hours over the weekend to play with my plants so my my big boy at the back there the over harvest no I mean no no spikes on that yet has been repotted I've got another division from that uh, I'm a little bit it's a bit of a problem now at this point I've got several divisions of master values to give away um, and I would like to give them away you know, at, a, at an orchid society or something like that. I don't really want to post them. I don't really want, and I certainly don't want to sell them particularly. I don't try to sell, not to sell my plants unless I absolutely have to. I'd rather exchange with uh, fellow enthusiasts. Uh, but yeah, I mean, disappointing. I mean, orchid societies are essentially dead. I mean, they're just unwelcoming, unpleasant, cliquey places to be. I, I, I'm on the mailing list for a couple. Um, I got my latest email said, you should only attend if you've been double vaccinated and if you haven't to let them know i mean i don't really see what business is it is an orchid society as to what whether a person has been jabbed or not I, I really don't see why an orchid society would care and it was advising people to to wear masks which is not great if you're in a lecture hall i suppose although they're obviously making kids do it and saying they would have the windows open so could you bring warm clothes i mean it's just madness really um you know i mean i perhaps maybe because i'm yeah, I'd love to, I'd love an orchid society to be a thing that I could participate in, but they're just not. Um, the thing I have got is my begonia pavonina down here. So that is very blue and metallic. So the ones indoors at the moment are suffering and not doing very well, which I think is down to the heat. So I put this one in here to see how it did. Because someone I know in, in Germany grows these things quite cold. <sighs> They grow very straggly, mine. Even the ones upstairs are growing very straggly, and they're under a strong, um, you know, light that's usually grown for 
something else. Um, but these, the light level is obviously lower in here. These are very blue and metallic. So my CZU on the mount, it's got some new growth on it. I do worry about losing that. Uh, Nutriclearia, Nilum folia, doing good. So I'm just kind of picking through stuff at the moment. I think I've got several Coraceas and they've never flowered. I'm trying to think, I don't think there's anything else with spikes on it at this point. So um, but it's quite crowded in here just simply because I can't give the stuff away. My Stenoglottis, Stenoglottis longifolia, which I tried to throw away, put it on the floor in a dark corner over the winter, which was really cold, uh, away from the heater, and it survived. So at that point I decided that it probably deserved its reprieve and put it back in the tank. Um, see, that's a dendrobium down there. It didn't do well indoors, didn't do particularly well, it's got newer growth on it. So uh, yeah, this is the this is the Highland tank. Sadly, not much to report other than some repotting, and uh, fingers crossed for a good autumn and a good winter, I suppose. Uh, I guess that's it for now. I'll do. I want to do the uh, outdoor bog at some point, but it's still raining and it's been raining for days. So when it calms down, okay, everyone. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching.